What exactly is the situation here? I went to make coffee this morning and I discovered that there was only decaf. No regular coffee to be found anywhere in the church. So after a long and arduous decision-making process, we were on our way to 7-Eleven in Portville to caffeinate ourselves. That's what's going on. Because heavens knows the church is gonna need some people that are caffeinated and reasonable. Because when they find out there's no coffee, all hell will break loose. Yeah, I was actually told and don't. you can use that word because it's a real place. Yeah, we totally can. I was told, don't tell them that it's decaf. They won't know the difference. Who said that? Um, older woman, gray hair, glasses. Yeah, I don't really want to name names, but I Some said... Some people have a legitimate medical need for caffeine. Yeah. Well, I, I was thinking about my headache. You know, I was thinking about about 11 o'clock when we're done worshiping and he starts to speak and my head starts to pound. You're going to need to speak louder. I, I was, what? <laughs> Right, so... Talk louder, Mother. The children can't hear you. These ain't my kids. <laughs> Rag well, I didn't push them out. <laughs> Found them along the side of the road, I do rightly reckon. Okay, chaos has already descended. We need coffee in these people ASAP. <laughs> I've only had one cup How are you feeling about this trip? I don't... I don't have any strong feelings on decaf coffee. So you would have drank it? Drunk? You would have you I would have consumed it? It doesn't taste the same as caffeinated. Fair enough. It's it's a really it's a really important issue and I'm really upset actually that the church isn't on top of this situation. I mean well, really. look, at, look at scripture. What are we commanded to do? You know, we're commanded to be Christ to our Jerusalem, our Judea, our Samaria. I think I met a bit of on work, but you know what I mean? The concentrically larger circles. Right, right. And how can we minister to a larger people group when we can't even keep the basic fundamental life sustaining facilities functioning in our church. Amen. That's, Amen. It's, it's a shame. I'm sorry. I mean, if we're asleep, how can we minister to them? Exactly. Minister to them? I, I mean, I would be asleep and have a headache, and then I get cranky, and then I don't want to talk to people. Exactly. No one, no one wants you to try and witness to them when you're cranky. Exactly. <laughs> you need Jesus because. Because! Because he loves you! Do you have any coffee? You. We should have filled out the book before we left. Yeah. They might have been slightly confused though at the empty room with four attendees. For the record, Matt, this is what happens when you leave. We've descended into anarchy and it hasn't even been a half hour. But at least we didn't go to Sprague's. Yeah. And they got me to get out of my Sunday school. Wow, that didn't make sense. They pulled me along with them. And they got a Vita? We are being a stumbling block to Brody. That's not true. I mean, we can have spiritually enriching discussions here. Okay, go. All right, somebody... <laughs> so somebody pull the notes out and we'll try and be spiritually enriching. Yeah. By the time I find the notes... That's all right. We'll have them for the way back. <laughs> what did we talk about last? Uh, last week, we... Well, we started to cover uh, strongholds. Right. But... Still feeling okay about all this? Yes. I'm in it for the donuts. Wise oh, man. So they still have Krispy Kremes there? Is anybody there? No. I don't know. That's not really. I see. That's my thing. I don't like the sweet stuff in the morning. I totally. Cream. That person needs Jesus. I think he's more concerned about us hitting him at this point. Without coffee, I can't hear. So it kind of looks like someone already had their coffee this morning. Yeah, that's 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 my morning cup. I need my church cup. <laughs> For the record, I haven't had any today. None. I thought about it. I should have. That was the Holy Spirit leading me. That was just poor time management on your part. It wasn't a time management issue. It was a um, lack of preparation. It was a well. I can't have this. Be ready at any and all times to prepare a cup of coffee. That's in the Bible. Hezekiah someplace. It's in Hebrews. Yeah. <laughs> <Ha>. Get it? <laughs> that was a good one. That was awesome. <laughs> so that raises the question, why are all coffee shops named with some horrible pun as a rule? 
that's like, you know, Brood Awakening or The Daily Grind or, you know, they're all some horrible, horrible How is The Daily shop Grind shop. a Christian? Uh... I didn't say it was Christian. I'm just saying coffee shops in general oh. have like bad puns. Bad coffee puns as their name. I think, the more I think about it, I think it's because they're trying to attract the hipsters who are drawn to those ironic sounding names. You can't blame hipsters for everything. We can't Why blame not? hipsters for everything. I, and we will. We can and we will. I think we technically are here. You really need coffee. You can be twitching. You can be twitching. I'm twitching. As long as you're not twitching back and forth with the wheel. That's why now, I, I have with my no knees. idea where we left off in these notes because... The last one still has notes on it. The microphone is it's probably really blurry. Precious. Coffee, we were here for coffee. I'm torn between those two. How about you guys? Oh yeah, well, that's where I would get my coffee. I am a wimp. I'm not saying you're a wimp if you get it. That's not what I'm saying. Wait, wait, wait. It's for anorexic people. Always leave a little room for cream. Good stuff. Can you do it with the other hand? Quicker. Yes, right there. Okay. Top left. Got it. It's rough. What do we need? We need some uh, of those prepackaged donuts after we talked about them. Oh, okay. I was going to say those ones are not. Someone's excited. Go to. <laughs> Half the worship team isn't back because Jamie hit the pole at 7 Eleven. <laughs> I think they would probably question our spirituality? Yeah. <laughs> Morals. Look at what that button does. <laughs> I mean, look at it. It's a button attached to a big alarmy thing. <laughs> Acknowledged. Is that what that says? Reset. Hmm. That's just asking. To be pushed, I know. Things we discover when we're trying to caffeinate. Like back before they had seat belts when kids were sitting in front of the seat and the mom breaks. Well, even now, I think mom's doing instinctively. It's always the hand, you know, to stop the kid from flying forward. So we go around the corner and your first gesture was like, coffee. <laughs> it's okay, mommy's here, mommy's got to It's really important, just in case. I've lost many a cup of coffee this way. <laughs> it's a corner, I'll save the coffee! Then the women and children. Coffee, Seriously. women and children. It's another one! <laughs> I wonder what race car drivers do. With their coffee? They probably don't have coffee in the car. Right? No, they have a little tank of it here and just a little tube. Yeah. That's how they go so fast, it's I'm like, pretty sure. It's like a camelback with the coffee. Are they catheterized as well? Oh, heavens. If what does heaven have to do with it? It doesn't matter. Because <laughs> it dries? What? <laughs> 
Mm, okay, new conversation. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you see the way some of those guys drive, you can't tell me they're not wearing pants. Well, I'm not sure what would have happened for sure, but I really, I know that my worship wouldn't have been sincere. I can guarantee that. You know, I also might have snapped at some people and, and caused some, some breaking of the fellowship, so to speak. Q Lord of the Rings music? Okay. You're up, Jane. I think it's more, not so much an issue of, you know, because a lot of people are going to see this and they're immediately going to assume you, you all have a serious problem. But, you know, Paul talks about we're supposed to, you know, we're supposed to tame our body and keep it under control. And you can do that through exercise, but you also do that to some extent through caffeine. Absolutely. I mean, you look at, you look at the, the actual perks of it. And they're overwhelming. Perks. Did a the perks, yes. Pun intended. It increases, they actually did a study, it increases your attention span, it increases your ability to focus. All these things, I mean, who knows what vital life-changing sermon points we would have missed without the coffee. Absolutely. I'm on the worship team and I draw that this morning I have a hard time keeping the tempo up and everything. I believe that the Bible says that you're supposed to uh, make a joyful noise. Well, if I'm falling asleep on the drums, I don't think that's going to be very joyful. So if I get some caffeine in me, my worship will be, will help others to worship God more. So in the end, it, it helps. I guess that's a mission accomplished. Amen, amen. You look like a god fool! <laughs>